Force went to Pitt on Wednesday and lost 77 72. Struggled in three point shots. They were just six of 22. Opening tip controlled by Syracuse. Adrian Autry taking over for the legend Jim Beheim after 47 years as the head coach of the Orange program. Deep in the shot clock for Carr. Launching a three. And look for Wake Forest to really build a wall with him and then try to get the ball out of his hands, keep him from going downhill. We try to get it to Carr for the rim bender for Wake. It's just, you know, two things. There was no prep. Salas had it knocked away. And this is what Syracuse does, Tom. This, they're, they're one of the best in the league at stealing the basketball. You know, if he gets the ball in the low box, takes a look, and then makes his move. Salas down the lane. He had it knocked away by Mintz. Hustles to the basket, and no one can get back to stop the jam from Mintz. Mintz is second in the conference in steals, and he shows us exactly why right here. They are long and rangy out front. They have active hands and uh, already five weight turnovers. So uh, Mintz stepping into a free for Chuda Mintz. And uh, he wants them covered. Late in the shot clock for Hildreth. Shook the defender and put it in. Let's see again. Look, those are, you're going to live with those percentages. One of five now. Fredrickson from the corner. Three ball from the corner pocket. Salas wide open for a three. And he held the finish. Timeout on the court. And slide back into the lower half. Virginia has won six in a row. Then an eight and three in conference play. And it's Williams with a monster jam. Every shot has been a three. And uh, he certainly has given himself a chance coming into this game. Mintz down the lane. And he lays it in. Ten on the shot clock. Kick from Fredrickson. Monsanto from the corner. In his three previous games off the knee injury. This is really a fascinating lineup out there right now for Wake Forest. Salas! Wormy, Jaminski are outstanding. ACC basketball on the CW crew with you from the Center. Copeland, this time he hits the mark. Details. Details. <laughs> Carr, triple teamed. Found Salas! When you're triple teams, a couple people are bound to be open. Good find, though, out of that. Hunter Salas, the open man, and he's got another three-pointer for the Demon Deeks. Their lead is eight. And he's a double-digit scorer, Mike. Almost 13 points per game for number two in orange. They look for Marsh. He's able to grab it and lay it in. Right, they were very fortunate on that play. Taylor squares up for the three. That's just two of eight now for the Orange and threes, and Hildreth beats everybody to the rim. Hildreth driving again. The spin. Copeland was ready to defend it. And see, that, that's a, again with... Uh... Starling stepping behind the line in front of the wing bench for three. That's in this last four plus minutes, they desperately need him to get going. How about Miller stepping on the accelerator at the other end? Try to force him to go left. I mean, make him go to his offhand, but he he beats you with his offhand and finishes. This is Mintz, and he rises up over Miller and hits it. But at 6-4, he's going to have that advantage. Quickly to the other end for Miller. And with his speed, you know, Miller... And, and they will stay. They're going to jump him with the big guy and get the ball out of his hand. Inside of the jam for Brown. They'll live with that play. Here's the look. I mean, you can you can see Mar uh, Carr was really just extended way out on the floor. Help a little bit late getting there. A good. Mintz tried to anticipate. Miller spins and hits. He's capable of a big night. 
He's also capable of disappearing. Yeah, he averages double digits just over 10 per game. How about the work by Hildreth at the other end for Wake Forest? It's Cuff working the baseline. Taken away by Hildreth. Up ahead, Monsanto to Salas on the business end of the alley -oop. Great look ahead right here. Just, I mean, the ball just hit the ball and floor one time. Final seconds. Mitz against two defenders. Got the shot away and hit it with about two seconds on the clock. This has not scored, only took one point, uh, one shot. This is Carr trying to muscle his way inside for two. Seven points now for Andrew Carr, senior from Westchester, Pennsylvania. That's Starling. Yeah, they, they. Shot clock down to six for Miller. Gets away from a couple of defenders. Salas is open. Makes no mistake. For the Orange. But early on in the second half, better offensive execution for Syracuse. And uh, wide open driving lane for Poopy Miller. He now has nine after the drive and layup. Taylor at the other end for three. Hit the deck after the release. Miller, sharp angle. Around Mitz, calculating the angle off the backboard with the scoop for Boopy. Hildreth goes the other way, hangs and scores. Count the bucket and he's going to the line. Left and uh, this was just a great take. Goes inside, absorbs the contact. Great finish underneath. Fails to note, too, that he's got nine rebounds in this game. Rattles home from Taylor. He's been averaging five points a game. Car on the block. Once again, poses his will. And puts it over the front rim. From the floor, there have only been 11 rebounds in the game. That's true. To be had. So Hildreth. And there will be no rebound on that shot for three. Game in which they led by 10 points, so maybe that's why G-Man was wondering how this might turn out. As the hustle by Taylor, it's going to pay off. Thing and just stop the play. Deflected by Mitz, two-on-one action with Copeland, and Copeland will go in for the double-fisted rim rocker. And Steve Forbes wants a timeout on the wake side. Steal by Mitz, the feed to Copeland for the slam for the Cutes. Okay, part of the full court pressure. Hildred tried to chisel his way through the double, punches it up to Salas. Monsanto unloads for a three. This is, this is a turnover waiting right here. Salas, the heads up play, the good find right here. Incredible. Starling. Through some traffic and congestion. Seven points for Starling. And missing five attempts for the Orange. Wake has also made its last four shot attempts. This is Starling right in the face of the defender, Fredrickson. Double digits for Starling and ten points. Salas chases it down. Carr wants to harvest the three-pointer. Wow, oh, just... Salas... Bothered. Miller scoops it up. He takes it right to the rim. Williams. The cutter was Mintz. Gave it to Copeland. Tough shot. TV in the world, but. Carr. Spins it. Tried to adjust in midair. Miller is there to clean it up. Fredrickson, money! I mean, they were already the third best three-point shooting team, and then it's Miller again inside. At home against Hampton with 14 points, 11 boards, and 10 assists. Williams, still scrapping on the offensive glass for Benny Williams. <laughs> Padre. 
Miller couldn't use the English to spin it in. How about the other end of the drive, Copeland? Rosales has 47 made threes this season. That's the most for Wake. Man, lightning quick, Booby Miller. Williams catch and release. Stop me if you've heard it before. Oh, I'm just going to beat everybody down the floor. Reed. <laughs> He'll back his way in on carry. He can't get any closer. I don't know where he was backing into. <laughs> The market closes in five, four, <laughs> four minutes and 57 oh, seconds. Lo what a defensive play by Carr. Not letting up at all. Miller eyes for the rim. This time he finds Salas. And Mike is keeping an eye on that percentage. The building record is 70.2% by Wake. Field goal shooting. Cuff for three. And the shooting percentage plummets to 68.8. Starling the jumper. And now as we hit the two-minute threshold, Wake has put 94 on the board. Make it 96. Thanks to Reed. 24 points in the game for Salas. Leading score. Another three. Coach of the Year back in 2022 in the ACC. They won 19 games last year, Mike, and this one is going to give them 14 minutes. Jam at the other end, flying Chris Bell. What about the field goal percentage, Mike? What's it going to be? 66. It's not going to be good enough. The building record stands at 70.2. The field goal percentage, 99 to 70.